Welcome everyone. What I want to do in this video is just give you a brief hint on how I did this project. It really sounds a lot harder than it is. So I'm going to show you what I did. You don't have to do it as sophisticated as I did, but that's just the way I did. You can do it the way that you feel the most comfortable with as long as you go by the standard guidelines. So here we have is a banking program that you're going to be getting an initial amount. The monthly deposit, if any, it could be zero. Uh, then you're going to put the annual interest in there. That would have to be obviously positive. And the number of years, I recommend just one year. So you only have 12 months to do it, but you can put in more because it's just one print statement in a for loop. So then you're going to be putting these things in here. So they give you the suggestions of what to put in. $1, $50, 5%, and 5 and then they want you to create something that looks like, like this. So you see you have more information over here. So what I've done is I created it with some functions that I wrote. If you would like these functions, just send me an email and I'd be more than happy to give them to you. And I'll show you what they are when I go to my code. They give you the actual formula to get it in here. So this would be the initial opening amount. This would be the deposit amount or zero if you're not doing a monthly deposit. And then the interest rate and you're dividing the interest rate by 100 and then you're dividing it by 12 to get each month. So you have the actual interest rate and this is what it kind of looks like. So you can format it the way you feel uh, fit. I formatted it using uh, set width and with the right and the left to make it line up, but you can do it however way that you want. So let me go to my code and here is the banking project. And the first thing is the header file. So you can see that I'm including banking.h in here if it's defined. So this is very important because you're going to be including it in your main and your the actual class files. So you want to make sure that you don't include it more than one time. So this is going to take care of everything. You should have already learned that. So if it's not defined, you can define banking H, otherwise not. And then down here over here, you have your end. So now you have all these green ugly lines here, and I'll explain what they are in a minute. So these are all the private items that I came up with. Uh, the initial investment, monthly deposit, interest rate, and the beginning balance. And I like to do extra stuff. So I have interest and closing balance. So what I did was after I got the initial investment, or you can call it the initial deposit, down payment, whatever you want. And it got the monthly deposit, the interest rate, and the beginning balance. What I did was I used setters to set them. And then I used getters to get them when I did my calc balance. So I have calc balance here. It's not written, but, and then I have update balances because you need to update the balances every year. Now that's the way I did it. You are free to do it however way you want, as long as it works well and as long as it's efficient. So let's go and look at all of the things that I have. So I have a default banking in here. And the default is, and I believe I've already written that. So let me hit F12 and go to it. This is what you want to do in a default constructor. You want to make sure that you initialize everything to zero. It could lead to other issues. Now, the other thing I want to talk about it, I'm not a big fan of using namespace. That's why I have it commented out. And what I do is if something's not working, I usually uncomment it and to see if that solves the problem. But these are all the items that I need in here is uh, C out, end out, fixed, precision, set width, and all these things. So I just had to use it for each one. Feel free to use uh, using namespace. That's not a problem whatsoever on my part. So going back to here, to create, if you're using Visual Studio, which I hope you are, then all you have to do is, so we're going to do set the initial investment in here. And I would actually do one for you. So you can create it here. 
and we need a double, and so we'll just call it in initial investment. Now, here's how I do things. It's, it's again, it's totally up to you. Obviously, the class name should be capitalized because that's usually defined. What I do is all my private variables I make with a capital letter. So let's go back to the header, and you can see they all have a capital letter. So that's the way I know that they're private. Some people like to put a P underscore there. Everybody decides their own style, but this is pretty much standard in here. So let's go back to the AG banking in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same variable name, only I'm going to use initial investment. And it's very simple. So what I want to do is show you how to use this, although it's not necessary. The reason for yes, this is because you can have the same name as the member function here or the member variable. And what will happen is if you use this, it knows which one to use. So you don't really have to do it in this particular case because it's got a different name. But if you want to use this, and, and I most of the time do, just type in this and a dot. And then notice how everything gets in here. So we're going to do initial investment. And it's just going to equal the initial investment, which is should be this. And that's all you really need to do. And then you that you're setting it. Notice it's a void, so you're not returning anything. So let's go back to our header file. And you can see now this is done. So you need to do the same thing for number of years, same thing for number uh, for monthly deposit and interest rate. So I'll help you with the getter, which I'm sure you all know how to do it anyway. So let's just do the getter. And I'm going to right click and go actions and create it. And all we need to do here is return. And we're getting the number of years, so that should be num years. And that's all you really need to do. So that's your setter and your getter. So for the initial investment, I guess I did the wrong one. But uh, here you have uh, one setter and one getter. So if we go back to it here, you can see that number of years is done and set initial investment is done for you in here. So what you're going to do is you're going to have each one of these here. And then you have uh, your options for CAC balances and display balances in there. So notice that I have my CAC balance and my update balance in there um, as private. They're going to be used by the class itself in there. If you rather use the calc balance and make it public, that's fine. Uh, I did not, uh, and it worked just fine for me. And then the update balance is every year I wanted to update everything. So the ending of the year becomes the beginning of the year start when you're printing something out. So let me see if I can find that sheet that we had before. So what I did here is you have the opening amount. So notice how this closing is the opening. So I just updated it and had an extra variable that is the beginning. And I after I printed each one, I updated this to be the closing. And the next year, this is the previous year's closing. So let me go back to our program. And let's just go briefly to main, which is what I have here. So I put these up here for input. So these are the things that we need to input. I created my class here. I have a variable called number of years, and then I have variables for that. So notice these functions here, get integer and get integer with a string and get double. They allow you to get an integer with a specific minimum. So if you put in minus 50, obviously you're not going to make an initial investment for minus 50. So let's just take a quick look at that. 
and you can see you pass the lowest in here. And then notice in any function that you write, you should put the function, the purpose is, and what it is in here. And then this is going to make you put in something that is greater than or equal to the lowest in here. So you would want to definitely have it greater than zero. Um, and let's see what we have. So this one here is the same thing, only it allows you to have a user defined prompt. And this here is the same thing with a double instead of an integer, because you're going to have some doubles that you want. Obviously, the interest rate is going to be there. The only thing that's going to be an integer would be the number of years. So if you want to use those, that's fine. Otherwise, you can just do uh, what is the monthly deposit, what is this, and get it in the method of your choice in there. So I'm hoping that this helps you. So please uh, let me know how this did, if this helped you, if it confused you in here. Remember, this is the way I did it. So you don't have to physically do it that way, but you're more than welcome to use the way I did it, or you're more than welcome to go on your own and try to experiment. But remember, regardless of which way you use, you want to make sure that you're going to comment your code on the very top in here. So we're going to do, this is the main. So what you would do here is, and this is very important because I do look for this. So you're going to put your name, the activity, which is, this is project two or air at banking if you want. And then this program, just a little bit about this program. This program will, and then you fill in a sentence or two in there exactly what it's doing. Also notice how I have in main here, I commented, and sometimes the comments really are kind of self-explanatory. But if you're looking at a program that somebody else wrote, it might not be what it's self-explanatory. So this is good programming. So you always want to comment what each variable is and what it's for. And so I've given you started over here. And the same thing is on all these programs. You want to write the purpose of the program is to do this or whatever you want to write. Just a sentence is just fine in here. And always remember in line comments. Now, I don't really have them in here because I wanted to do this quickly. But... This variable, uh, this this is designed to help you go and design your code knowing what I'm going to be looking for. So it's important that you follow the procedures so that I can give you the highest grade. If you uh, have any questions at all, please make sure that you email me right away. Don't wait till Sunday night at 9 o'clock and say, I, I don't know how to do this in here. So... Please like the video if you like it. Uh, please leave comments. Let me know if there is a special video that you would like make that I have not made. Please feel free to let me know. Also, look at my YouTube channel. There's over 200 videos that uh, are posted about different items. Uh, also, another plug is make sure you're constantly looking at the announcements because I give you a lot of hints in here and the emails that I write. That is it. Um, hope you have a wonderful day. I look forward to um, looking at your projects. Have a wonderful day.